What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me trying to get to 2K, y'all. Appreciate it. Now, let's go ahead and get into a little bit of this Calvin Ridley talk. As you guys know, he recently broke his silence on social media and is leaving us all in a what's going on frenzy, including um, the journalists. As you guys know, they're eating this all up, but course you know i have to chime in on my opinions of things as i'm more of a neutral fan myself and i don't overreact to everything now let's kind of give you a history update Kevin really spent most of the 2021 season away from the team as he you know stepped away indefinitely to work on some mental health issues that he made a statement on october 31st about now, of course, there hasn't been much information about Ridley and his status as of lately, and it all leaves us in speculation of what this may mean, if anything. Now, of course, over a month ago, Arthur Blank was asked this question about what's going on with him, and he made a statement. He said, we love the young man. He has had a great history in Atlanta. We love him to stay in Atlanta, whether or not he wants to do that. He may decide that he wants a fresh start someplace else. We don't know that. I don't know that. I don't have information to indicate that, but we will see how that plays out. He also stated that we've been totally supportive in every way that we can be, both emotionally and financially in working with him as well as his agent. We'll see, but I'm mostly concerned about him as a human being, as we all should. But of course, our fan base are so eager, like little kids, where it's like, please, 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 please give us a lot. Give us something. Give us anything. But honestly, I think the Atlanta Falcons organization is respecting his privacy. And speaking of privacy, it just does seem like Calvin Ridley is a very solid person. And if he's really dealing with his mental illness, and like myself, a lot of times we are to ourselves. And does Kevin really, really owe us any type of explanation at this point? I would rather for him, if he is going some, through some things, take this off season personally and get himself together so he can be back and ready to go. Now, of course, he made some tweets about, you know, first he said that, of course, football is life for him. Now, of course, everybody's kind of acting the fool. What does that mean? What does that mean? And then, of course, he made a laughing emoji, I guess, because everybody was freaking coming after him about that little tweet there. Because, of course, Brian Finnerman said, well, is it, though? And Kevin really said, well, I don't know you at all. So I guess he's just tired of everybody bullying him. And that left us to the imagination of what this very last tweet meant. I learn from my L's. So it's to me personally, I take it as if Kevin Ridley is reading your tweets. Kevin really is probably if he is going through some things, a social media, a lot of time you kind of dwell on what other thinks of you. And I think that those tweets and everything, everybody's coming after him is taking its toll. Now, I would hope that if he is going through his mental illness situation, he stays away from um, social media for more time until it's time for him to get on and play. But maybe he is better and maybe he is also um, stating to us, hey, I'm alive. I'm OK. I'm just making some tweets, you guys. <laughs> Hello. Laugh out loud. Laugh out loud. Honestly, we can all just speculate, you know. That's all I take from it. I'm the one that just don't really overreact to what's going on because even I put up BS sometimes just to put something out there. It may might may not mean much of anything. So let's kind of give you a little bit of um, more from what Arthur Smith had to say. You know, they recently had a press conference about this, and of course, the question again came about. And of course, he said, these guys who cover us locally get sick of me saying it, but I don't have an update as it's been for the entire season of 2021 and off season. And of course, Terry also stated, it's just not something that we can talk about at this point. 
I understand the frustration from everyone regarding this situation. It's just not something that we can talk about right now. At the appropriate time, we will share everything we can. So to me, everyone's up, you know, everyone's frustrated with the situation. Stop asking these questions. We'll give it to you when we have it. And that's kind of what it's been. Even with the Julio Jones situation, Arthur Smith just doesn't play about repeating and beating the dead horse at this point. We don't have anything. You'll get it when we give it to you. So we got to respect that. We got to respect that Kevin really just needs some time if he's really going through some things. The only thing I'm concerned about is long as they are communicating, as they're stating, they're talking to his agent, they're talking to Kevin Ridley. Kevin Ridley is on vacation in Miami on yachts and things and the other Give him time to heal if that's what he's needing. If he wants to play football, as he said, football is life. He's not leaving the game of football. Doesn't mean that he's going to be with the Falcons. Doesn't mean that he might not. He may or may not. We don't know. Now, of course, Ridley is currently under contract through the 2022 season. Of course, after we exercised his fifth year option last spring, of course, he had his best season in 2020. Uh, when he had 90 catches for 1,374 yards and nine touchdowns, but he only gave us five games in 2021. So with that, that leaves into question what could possibly happen as Arthur Smith at this point don't know who Kevin really is. Now, of course, Atlanta is amongst nine teams already with more money and contracts for this season. So what does that mean for Kevin Ridley? It means two things, possibly. Atlanta Falcons have a need to reduce their salary cap. And you know that's definitely because we gotta we gotta make some wiggle room here. So um since Ridley did leave the team early to address his mental health concerns. Do, do they feel like he is still a good asset to this team? Because really the team hasn't been with him. Um, they play without him and they got adjusted to life without Kevin Ridley. So to me, honestly, the trade for him is definitely a possibility. Whether the Falcons do that or not, we have to see here. So kind of give you guys your opinion of what you think should happen with Kevin Ridley. Honestly, a wide receiver can be found somewhere else. Let's be honest, for cheaper, definitely. Um, as we got free agency coming up, et cetera, et cetera. I'm definitely excited to see what we do in this draft and so forth and so on. All right. So I appreciate you guys tuning in to me once again. Just kind of want to address this Kevin Ridley situation. I am back and feeling so much better. I, I, I'm glad y'all jumped on my live. It's impromptu weekend. More of this to come as we are preparing for the regular season. As we have so much coming for the new season. Look at my alarm going off. Lord have mercy. <laughs> that is okay though. But I appreciate you guys once again. And I'm out people. Peace.